secretions. So in the rest of the secretions, what happens is that is this way that we have chloride that is secreted, sodium is reabsorbed. Look, this is different from here. Here chloride was reabsorbed, sodium was reabsorbed, here chloride is secreted, sodium is reabsorbed and water is reabsorbed. When this complex is abnormal, then the behavior is different. One chloride channel is not working, so chloride becomes trapped inside the cell. Second, sodium channels working becomes increased. Sodium channel becomes hyperactive as a result of the mutation. And if sodium becomes hyperactive, that will mean more water will also come in, right? So more sodium comes in, that means more water comes in. What do you think is going to happen to the secretions now? The secretion that was present here, we have pulled out a lot of ions from it. We failed to give it chloride, so already ions are less. Now we are pulling out more sodium, which will cause more water to be pulled down. So this, this fluid here is actually isotonic. And by the way, this is the respiratory uh, passage, and I'm talking about the secretion here. This is the same mechanism for the pancreatic secretion, for the liver secretion, for the gall secretion, for the ileal uh, surface secretions, for the reproductive vas deferens areas. So at the end of the day, it is kind of the same mechanism everywhere. So now what happens is, as we pull more sodium and water out, that leaves an almost isotonic solution, but the quantity of the solution is now reduced because we have pulled out a bigger chunk back. We have reabsorbed a lot. So the result is this, that the patient has very thin layers of solutions. So now either the solutions are thick or they are very thin layers, but these are dehydrated surfaces now. Do you think that the dehydrated surfaces, imagine if you have not drunk, uh, taken water for some time, you become all dehydrated. Is it easy to move the tongue inside the mouth? No, it is just frictionful everywhere. So when the surfaces are dehydrated, it becomes really difficult to move these secretions. And now anything that is dependent upon the movement of this secretion is not going to work. So keep this in mind and now let us see what are the pathogenesis, what will happen. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure that you like, subscribe and share this video. Like it if you like it. If you don't like it, then don't like it. And then uh, subscribe if you want more videos. We upload videos regularly. So if you sub subscribe to the channel, you can get a notification and the video will appear in your inbox. And if you hit the uh, bell button as well, then you can get the notifications for this as well.